Former Chula Vista City Councilwoman Mary Salas is now the 40th mayor of Chula Vista and first Latina mayor of the city. A former state assemblywoman, she defeated her opponent, Jerry Rendon, and succeeds Mayor Cheryl Cox, who termed out after eight years. Chula Vista Mayor Mary Salas, welcome to Evening Edition. Thank you so much. Now, I understand you are a fifth generation Chula Vistan and your grandparents moved to the city in 1919. Yes, Is that I correct? Did. That's correct. <laughs> Remind us of uh, how you, your political involvement and your connection to the city. My political involvement, well, first of all, um, I think that my uncles uh, were great mentors to me because they were all civically involved. And um, I had my uncle A.Y. Casillas was the first Latino that was ever elected to the Chula Vista Elementary School Board in the 60s. And then uh, my uncle Joe David Casillas ha has always served on boards and commissions. And, the city and you and served as well on the city council for eight years, yes, correct? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And uh, you actually ran for Senate in 2010? Yes, and I lost that by um, 22 votes out of almost 100,000 ballots that were cast. So it was a very, very, a very close, very close race. But yeah. I'm actually happy that I lost because I've always wanted to be mayor of Chula Vista. Well, congratulations on that. Now, you were sworn in as mayor last night, um, but Chula Vista does not have a strong mayor form of government, meaning your vote is mm -hmm. just one of five votes uh, on the council. Uh, how is being mayor then beneficial? Well, you know, the, the mayor is the face of the, of the council and the face of the city. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, the mayor is actually the person that people go to, for example, interviews. Um, we're the one that sets the agenda. And, um, you know, leadership styles are different, and I expect that I'll be a lot more involved in the community in my administration. Speaking of which, what are your uh, top three pri priorities uh, as mayor? Well, the first thing is job creation, and we're going to accomplish that through finally having uh, ha something happen on the Bayfront. Uh, we're making great great strides for our four-year university. And then we've got the exciting Millennium Project in the Eastern Urban Center. So we have a lot of opportunity um, in the next several years for, for creating you know, thousands of construction jobs. But after those job centers are developed, then that will have steady employment for our community. Now, your predecessor dealt with pension reform and, and, and budget restrictions and budget cuts. Mm -hmm. What do you see as the most urgent issue uh, facing the, the city right now? Well, certainly we have a terrible deficit in our infrastructure projects. So we have roads that need repair. We need sidewalks that need repairing. Um, we need to tackle the problem of uh, wastewater, all those things that aren't sexy things, but that um, make the quality of, of life in the city important, very good for people, uh, you know, make it a better experience. And also when you have those things set in place, um, businesses want to come to your city, people want to live there. And so it's an important component of economic development and job creation to have your infrastructure in good shape. Okay. So infrastructure, and it goes back to your top three priorities, you're kind of linking that to your mm -hmm. jobs. Um, when and how will your vacant seat uh, on the city council actually be filled? Well, the people of Chula Vista voted overwhelmingly to so support Proposition B, which will, will allow the city council to make an appointment to that seat. And it's very important that we get the job done qu quickly because of all the important initiatives that we have before us. So um, we will be... Uh, asking people to submit applications to fill that vacancy. Uh, we'll, I think it's going to be like a December 15th okay. uh, when we're going to issue the, the And it'll be an appointment, so no special hopefully, election. Yes, okay. Hopefully, yes, um, hopefully. You're San Diego uh, County's first Latina mayor. Uh, what do you think is needed to get more Latinos in uh, public offices? Well, it's something that I've been working on for many years. I was first recruited to run by the women of MANA of San Diego County. I joined, joined that orga organization in 1988. And so having those, um, those positive places uh, and organizations so that Latinas can join or Latinos and they can develop their leadership skills. And I fully um, give credit to MANA of San Diego County for, for getting me interested in politics. All right, Chula Vista Mayor Mary Salas, thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank you.